Welcome to a Code Report Data Structures video. This is five data structures in five minutes. Data Structure 1 Vector. The three most common methods of vector are pushback, the bracket operators, and size. The runtime of these three methods are constant. Taking a look at our code example, after we initialize our vector, it has a size equal to zero. We then push back the values 20, 10, and 10, and the vector will then contain these values in that order. On the second last line, we then use the bracket operators plus an index to access a value in that vector. Because vector is zero indexed, index one will retrieve the value 10. At the end of this code example, the size of our vector will be equal to three. Data structure two, set. Set is different from vector in that it stores its elements in sorted order and it does not contain duplicate elements. The three most common methods are insert, find, and size, and the runtime of these methods are log n, log n, and constant. Taking a look at our code example, after we initialize our set, the size of our set is equal to zero, we then insert the values 20, 10, and 10, and our set then contains the values 10 and 20 in sorted order. We then make a call to the method find, which will return us an iterator either to the value if the value we tried to find exists in our set or to what they call the pass the end element which you can retrieve by calling the end method so due to the fact that 10 is in our set the second last line will output found and at the end of this code example the size of our set is equal to 2. data structure number three unordered set very similar to set it has the same three most common methods insert find and size the difference being in the runtime, each of these methods has constant runtime. If we take a look at sets code example and then compare the unordered set code example, you'll notice that the only thing that changes is the declaration of our set. The output is the exact same. The only difference between these two data structures is the order in which the elements are stored. For unordered set, they could be in any order. Meaning that if you're using a range-based for loop or a regular for loop, when you use a set, you loop through these in sorted order, but when you use an unordered set, it could be any order. Data structure number four, map. Map is very similar to set, but instead of just storing an element or a value, it stores both a key and a value. The four most common methods of map are insert, find, the bracket operators, and size. The runtime of these methods are log n for the first three and constant for size. We use make pair to insert, find will return us the whole pair, and the bracket operators, if the key does not exist, will do an insertion. And if the key does exist, it will return us a reference to the value. Taking a look at our code example, after we initialize our map, it has a size of zero. We then insert the key and value 20 and one. We then insert the key and value 10 and one. On line five, we then use the bracket operators to retrieve a reference to the value attached to the key 10, which is one, and we use the post increment to change that value from one to two. On the next four lines, we make calls to the find method, which works similarly to the find method in set. We can then use the arrow operator first to access the key and the arrow operator second to access the value. At the end of this code example, our size is equal to two. Last but not least, data structure number five, unordered map. Unordered map has the same relationship with map that unordered set has with set. It shares the same most common methods, the difference being the runtime of these methods, which for unordered map is constant for all of them. If once again we take a look at the map code example and compare it to the unordered map code example, the only thing that's different is the declaration of our map. And once again, the only difference between unordered map and map is the order in which the pairs are stored. Finally, if you'd like to use these data structures, you have to include the following. Thanks for watching.